everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a full face of Fenty. So recently, I uploaded a video of a full face of e.l.f. and I had so much fun discovering different products within that brand. And I didn't realize I have this much Fenty, but I went through my entire collection today. I started pulling out all the Fenty and I have a lot. I have a lot, a lot more than I thought I did. So the only thing that I don't have is a lip liner, a setting spray and a blush. Now, as you all know, Fenty is getting ready to release some new cream, like bronzer contour products, which I am like dying over, and also some cream blushes, which I'm dying over. And I know that I'm on a low buy, but those two products I will be grabbing when they become live. I think they're gonna be available on April 17th. I'll put it down here at the bottom of the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head, but, I will be breaking my no buy to get those. I have to have those. I love the Fenty Beauty bronzer, the matte bronzer, one of the best matte bronzers in my personal opinion on the market. I can't wait to try their cream products. So be on the look for that coming up very soon. But recently, I think it was in either, I can't keep track of boxy charms, you guys. I just can't keep track, but, and I don't know which, I don't know if it's called the boxy premium or the boxy luxe. I have no flipping idea. I think it was February, I think, maybe March. You guys, I have no idea. There was a full box of nothing but Fenty. So this palette was a palette that I'd heard a lot of mixed reviews about. Some people love it and some people didn't. And I was like, okay, so what? what's the deal with this palette? This is called the Moroccan Spice Palette. And you know, I used it in today's video. I'm gonna give you guys my 411 on it. That came in the box charm box, so I was really grateful for that. But I have so much Fenty here. I'm so excited to share with you guys my opinion on many of the products that are in the Fenty line. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the makeup tutorial, me playing with all these products, and I will see you guys all in my final thoughts. Oh, I did have a sample of the hydrating primer that they just released a couple months ago, but I can't find it anywhere. I have searched high and low for that primer and I have no idea where it's at. So I do have the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer and I will be using this today. This primer retails for $32 and it is for normal dry combo and oily skin. It's a pore diffusing primer that smooths the way for better foundation application and longer wear with an instant retouch effect. Like basic mattifying primers, Pro Filters Cushiony Touch Me Now Texture. It's supposed to create a blurring effect to the skin as well. Now this primer has a 4.1 out of five star review. Okay, so it feels um, very lightweight uh, and it does kind of have a little bit of a tack base to it, but it feels really kind of smooth. Yeah, I like it. So I'm curious to see how it will wear with the foundation. I also have a Fenty Beauty mirror. I love the color of this mirror, so I snatched it on the Fenty Beauty website. I don't know if this is available at Sephora. There I am. It's a great mirror. <laughs> Anyways, I don't have any Fenty Beauty brushes, but I do have the bigger sponge. It is the Fenty Beauty Precision Makeup Sponge. It's $16. I also had, I don't know where the other one is. This is a duo. It's a little precision makeup sponge duo. You get two for 18. I did have the other one and I have no idea where the other one is. I've been looking for it and I can't find it. So I am gonna just use this one today. So the foundation retails for $35. I'm actually going to apply it in shade 300. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. So they have the original formula, which was a little bit more on the mattifying side. This one is actually the hydrating formula, which I, I like this formula. The only thing I will say about this foundation is if you get it a little bit too thick in certain areas, it can, um, you can see it. It'll kind of sit on top of the skin. So my best recommendation when applying this foundation is just doing a very thin layer and making sure that you go over it with a sponge and just pick up any extra layers or whatever of this because it will, it'll sit on top of the skin if you're not careful. I like to use a brush just to make sure that I don't get it too thick in certain areas, and then I will go over it with a sponge. Now this shade is definitely a little too warm for me, but this was my summer shade. Normally in the winter, I wear uh, 290, which is more for like olive complexions, but this one is definitely my summer shade. So this foundation comes in 50 shades. This is a hydrating natural finish foundation that delivers comfortable long wear in medium to full coverage, perfect 
for normal to dry skin. Get a perfectly smooth natural finish that lets skin look like skin. Rihanna created this longwear formula with grapeseed oil and sodium hyaluronate for instant hydration in 50 shades is delivered in a portable tube. For best results, prep skin with the Pro Hydrating Primer before application. So next up, we're going to move on to the concealer. So I have two shades of the concealer. I have shade 260 and I also have shade 230. 230 is way too light for me. This is 230 and this is 260. 260 is perfect for me. It's a nice like peachy warm undertone type of uh, shade and it's a nice shade. This concealer also comes in 50 shades. It's $26. It is a creamy longwear crease proof liquid concealer with light as air, medium to full coverage that brightens under eyes and conceals blemishes and redness. This is a full coverage cure to living life at the fullest. The sweat resistant formula comes in a groundbreaking range of 50 easy to shop soft matte shades, each designed to pair with your Pro Filter Foundation. What that means is the shade of the concealer is the exact same shade as the foundation. So if you're 300 in the foundation and you only like to go up like maybe one or two shades a little bit lighter for your concealer, then you're gonna start at 300 and you go, you, you know, you're gonna count down a little bit and then pick your concealer from there. I do have to give credit to Fenty. I do love that they paired the shades to the exact same shades in the foundation. It just makes it so much easier and it takes all the guessing work out of trying to find your shade and as long as you know what shade you are in your foundation you're going to find a shade in the concealer without any hassles it's fantastic okay so the concealer looks really good and like i said because this is a more mattifying formula i have just found just by wetting my sponge or spraying it with some sort of like dewy setting spray gives me that luminosity that the concealer doesn't have and it looks hydrating and it looks really pretty and I like it. It is a full coverage. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite concealer of all time, no. I it, But it's a decent concealer. If you guys are a fan of Fenty or let's just say they have the shades for you, it's a nice concealer. It's not like my all time favorite, but it's a pretty dang good concealer. So let's move on to my brows. I do have one brow product here. This is called the Brow MVP. This brow pencil retails for $20. It is a ultra fine brow pencil and styler. I have mine in the shade medium brown, which is for medium to dark brown hair with warm undertone. It's a ultra fine retractable brow pencil that comes in a variety of different long wear waterproof smudge resistant shades with a built in paddle brush for easy blending and styling. Okay, so let's move on to the matchsticks. So I want to go ahead and contour. These are the little matchsticks that I have and I like how they do kind of connect. It's really easy to kind of keep them together. Okay, so these are the shades that I have. This shade right here is called Rum. It's a really pretty like coppery type of shade. Really pretty. This one is called Mocha. Then you have Trippin, Bamboo, and Starstruck. So those are the shades that I have. Now I'm going to use Mocha to contour with. Mocha is described as deep with cool undertones, which I always prefer to contour with a cool undertone product. So. Typically the way I like to do it, I don't know if it's right or wrong, but this is this is how I like to do it. I like to contour with a cool tone product and then warm up the skin with a warmer tone bronzer. They are described as a contour and concealer stick and a long wear light as air matte formula to conceal, correct contour and touch up. Now available in 22 shades. It is made to layer the buildable cream to powder formula is weightless and super easy to blend, but also stays put. No creasing and caking when you apply it. So even the delicate under eye area is fair game. Let me get into how I feel about these matchsticks. So this is a very dark shade. So, you know, it's one of the darkest of the matchsticks. It's five shades deeper than Mocha. Mocha's a little bit light, but I feel like when I do it, it's almost like I can see it, but then I can't. So this is kind of one of those like more invisible type, which makes it almost like, what's the point? Um, I don't love the formula of the contour matchsticks, which is the reason why I don't use it. I have a lot of really good contour products that I really do love. 
but this one I've just never really been a fan of. It looks really, really dark, um, but as you start to blend it out, it does lighten up quite a bit. Now, I could go over top of it and build it up just a little bit, so let's try that and see if that helps. Let's just add a little bit more. But it does kind of fade away very quickly, and I just don't feel like it gives me the contour that I personally get from, you know, something like the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand or my KKW Beauty Contour Sticks that I love. So, you know, it just, it's kind of a, it's just kind of a formula that just doesn't really, I mean, you can barely see it on my forehead. And so it's just not my favorite. It kind of feels like, I feel like when I put it on and as I start to blend it out, it almost blends away. So it's just not my favorite. I just have never been a fan of it. Now the bamboo, this I do not like. This is one of those products that you're supposed to be able to go like, and kind of like highlight the areas that you want to highlight, which you can totally do that with this. Uh, but again, it's one of those products that completely blends away. As you're trying to kind of push it into the skin, um, it blends away. These are not my favorite. They've, they've never been my favorite. It just is what it is. So let's move on to bronzer. So as you guys know, my favorite bronzer, this is actually my favorite matte bronzer currently. Uh, this is a fabulous matte bronzer. Like you, this, for me personally and what I like, I can't get a better bronzer than this. I just can't. It's absolutely fantastic. So I like to go in and just kind of build up and kind of taking these like circular motions it's such a good bronzer. It just, it has a perfect amount of pigment where it's very buildable, but also it blends out so seamlessly. It blends out so quickly. It's just a great bronzer. So this bronzer comes in eight different shades. This is the shade that I have. So I have a small little sample size of the Fenty powder. I have in the shade Honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of it. I hope it's not too dark. So the powder retails for $32 and it's a super fine weightless loose setting powder in eight sheer shades to perfect and extend makeup wear. Silky loose powder that works all day to reduce shine and blur the looks of fine lines, pores, and imperfections for a hyper smooth filter that won't flash back. So it's claiming not to flash back and it's also claiming uh, not to be cakey or settling into fine lines. The thing that I will say about this powder is that it's definitely not really technically dry skin friendly. I don't feel like anyways, every time I've worn this powder, I have always felt like it's a little bit too drying for me personally. I need powder that doesn't dry me out more. So let me say this, it's a nice um, powder, but I do feel like it's a little bit too thick for me personally. I am going to highlight, and I have several shades of highlighters here that I wanna use. Here are two of the Kilowatt highlighters that I have. Okay, so this is uh, Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. That's what it looks like swatched. Then this one is Mean Honey and Hustla Baby. So Mean Honey and Hustla Baby are right here. Now the two explosive ones that I have is how many carrots and I also have how halo at me so halo is holographic it's if you're into holographic you'll fall in love with this I am not into holographic so I never use this one this one is hollow at me I have how many carrots and how many carrots is almost a little bit slight putty like very glittery but it will bring to life any highlighter you ever need. Look at that. It's the only highlighter I will wear that has glitter in it is how many carats. It's absolutely beautiful. So these retail for $36 and there are nine different shades that you can choose from. Most people love these. These have a 4.6 out of five stars and that's out of 3,300 reviews. So the majority of the people love these highlighters. These don't swatch very good, but they apply beautifully with a brush. So they're not really meant, the way that they're pressed, they're technically not really meant to kind of be putting your finger down in them. They're best applied with a brush. And the way that they blend into the skin is, is they're beautiful. So I'm gonna first grab this shade right here.
So as you can see, these apply so much better with a brush than swatching. One of the best highlighters on the market in my personal humble opinion. That's my opinion! Now let's move on to the eyes. So I do have their eyelid primer. I've actually never used it. This is their amplifying eye primer. So this product retails for $22. It's a weightless color boosting eyeshadow primer that smooths lid for better blending and longer crease proof wear. Provides a better application, enhanced color and extended wear. It's your eyeshadow's personal best every time. It's also supposed to kind of smooth out the eyelids. It does have a tacky base to it. So it, you know, it does have a tack. As you guys know, I don't like to do my eyeshadow on a tacky base. So I'm gonna set it with a tiny bit of powder. So let's move on to the eyeshadows. As you guys know, I have these three little mini eyeshadow palettes. I know everybody loves these. These are not like all my all time favorite. So they kind of snap together. And so since I reviewed them, I have figured out how to do it. I don't love these palettes like everybody else does. I didn't really love the pigment from them. Like most people that I knew that reviewed them, uh, they just loved them and they just had a way better experience with them than I did. And I did feel kind of alone. Uh, but these retail for $25 each and if you buy two, you actually save $5, so there's that. You would get two for 45 instead of 50. There are 173 reviews on the Sephora website and it has a 3.7 out of five stars. So I guess I'm not the only one that didn't love these like everybody else did. Like everybody was raving about them. And I just didn't feel like they had the power in pigment. Very cute though. Like I think the actual packaging, design behind them, how they snap together, all of that was just something that we've never seen before. And we were all really excited about it because these are freaking cute colors. The way they coordinated the colors is really good. I would say my absolute only complaint is the pigment. I just didn't get enough pigment from these shadows. Next up, we're gonna play with the Moroccan Spice palette. So this is what it looks like. And honestly, I don't think I've watched any reviews on this palette and I've never actually heard much about it. These are the shades. Now, currently on Sephora, it's actually on sale. So it's on sale for $29 on the Sephora website. It's actually $59. We're gonna go ahead and get started on that palette. First, I gotta talk about these bad boys right here. These bitches are my life. So I actually love, love, love these. I have them in two shades. I have them in black and brown, and they are the Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil eyeliners. They retail for $22. And it looks like there's 20 different shades. I actually really like them. Uh, now, I also have the Fly Liner Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. It retails for $22. Now, I like this uh, liquid eyeliner. However, with that being said, I do not use this to create a wing with, okay? So I don't use liquid eyeliners to create my wings. So for me personally, it's not really fair for me to say I love this liquid eyeliner when, you know, a lot of people use liquid eyeliners to create wings with. I've never done that, so I don't know that this works for that. What I can tell you, the reason why I do like it is the, the tip on it is extremely little and fine. And you can make really small uh, little lines with it. And the other thing that I like about it is it doesn't bleed. I don't have any bleeding issues with this one. And when I use this is when I put on false lashes and I wanna go right at the base of the band and kind of fill in. The reason why I like using this one compared to some of the others is because of the tip. It has such a fine tip on it. It's easy for me to get into those little teeny areas, kind of fill in and make the false lashes look a little bit more real. I'm gonna take the brown pencil and go underneath and tight line right on my waterline. I like to do that because even if I don't add false lashes, I like to, it makes my real lashes look a little thicker. Of course, I'm drawn to this section. Now it looks like there's kind of quadrants per se. Uh, so you kind of have like little sections of the palette, like right here, you've got your blues and pinks that you could kind of create look with. You know, you've got some of your purples and olive tones, uh, some of your peachier kind of warmer tones here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I want to do like a purple look. I'm going to go in and put the black right at the base of my lashes. Mm. 
I'm gonna go into the shade Fez Up and I'm gonna start from that wing right here and come in and kind of start creating that definition and that line. I might have to use my smaller brush. Felt like I just needed a little bit smaller of a brush to do this with. So I'm gonna go in and kind of carve out where I want my crease to be the darkest. And I'm gonna go into the shade Spice Trip. Bring that right above that line and start using that shade to blend out that purple. Okay, now I'm gonna mix between Spice Trip and Fez Up. I'm gonna kind of concentrate that right here on the outer corner, kind of creating that lift a little bit. Okay, I actually got a pretty decent blend. These are a little bit harder to blend. They're kind of the same formula as the smaller palettes. They work, but you kind of have to you have to work with them a little bit. They're a decent formula. Not the best formula I've ever used, but they they work pretty good. I'm gonna go into the shade Shishma Smoke. I'm going to go over the line that I had created with that purple. I wanna incorporate the gray into the eyeshadow look, but I don't want the gray because it's so dark. I don't want the gray to overtake the purple. I can pick up some of the gray that's in that crease, but without having to add it, into the purple and have it completely take over the purple. But I want a little bit of that gray in there. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of blend that out so that it will uh, kind of blend into the purple but without overtaking the purple. Okay, so that's a very pigmented gray, as you can see. Now I'm gonna do the lower lash line and I'm gonna start with Spice Strip. I'm gonna go into Fez Up. I'm gonna smoke the outer corner with that shade. Just kind of going back and forth with like small stippling motions. I think I wanna use the shade Nuts and Dates. I think I'm gonna use a felt tip applicator for this. I'm just gonna use it dry. I'm gonna put it on my eyelid. It's really pigmented though, so go in very lightly with this. The reason why I went in with a felt tip applicator is I could tell by the texture that it needed a brush would have given me a ton of fallout. So now I am going to grab a brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Mirage. Place this right over top. the Fenty mascara I never bought a big one because I was kind of playing around with the smaller size so this is the full frontal volume lift and curl mascara it retails for $24 I do really like this mascara I think it's a great mascara it does have a flat to fat type of bristle it's a really cool little bristle it's it's a wand I've never used before. Okay, let's move on to lips of course I have several of the little glosses I got one of those holiday tin things that had all the glosses in it. Okay, so I went ahead and swatched all these and I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. So first up, we have these three right here. This shade right here is in this formula, which is the Stunna Lip Paint, okay? This one right here. This one is in the shade Unbuttoned. This one right here is also in the Stunna Lip Paint formula and it's in the shade Uncuffed some of the best matte liquid formulas you could ever have dries quickly and lasts all day long i i don't wear a lot of liquid lipsticks but these two or but this formula is fantastic now this right here is a formula i'm not experienced with this is my first one this one is called the plush matte lipstick comes like this 
and this is a really pretty shade. This one's in the shade Single. Now, let me show you guys what the um, doe foot looks like for these lipsticks, the Stunna lip paints. So the Stunna lip paints have these really unique tips on them, and I really enjoy this applicator. It's small enough to get a really precise angled uh, application. The trick to these though is wiping off the applicator as much as you can before going on your lip just to ensure that you don't get a lot. These are glosses that I got during the holidays and this first one is called Hot Chocolate. This is what it looks like inside. So you can kind of see it has a little bit of the purple. The next one we have right here is Fussy. Now this one was probably the most uh, popular of the shades. It was one of the first shades that she brought out and it's such a good formula and such a beautiful color. I love the shade Fussy. The next shade we have is this one right here. It's a bright pink one. It's in the shade Pretty Please. As you can see, it's really pretty bright, but it's actually kind of toned down once you put it on the skin, but still such a pretty shade. Then we have this red one, and this one is in the shade Cheeky and it's kind of got a little bit of those gold flecks running through it. As you can see, it's really, really pretty. And then we have Confetti. So Confetti is down here, and it's kind of like a, you know, iridescent type of color, really pretty. Then finally, we have Diamond Milk. Diamond Milk is beautiful. It's like a white silver. This one right here, it's absolutely beautiful. I love that shade. So I first want to try this formula because I've never tried this formula before. Okay, so it's a little chalky of a formula, which is fine. It'll probably last a little bit longer. I love the shade. I think the shade's really pretty. It's actually kind of a brown peachy tone, very pretty shade. Kind of feels like the Matte Revolution lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. That's the vibes that it gives me when I put it on. Very pigmented, very pretty. I like this and I would probably like it even more if I put it on with a lip liner. I want to put on this color, but I want to deepen it with a lip liner. So I'm going to go in with my KKW Beauty Nude Number no. 3 Lip Liner. Okay, and then I'm going to take just a tiny bit of this and put it here on the back of my hand. Now this stuff will dry pretty quickly, so I'm just going to take some here. I'm going to put some on this brush and I'm going to fill it in on the inner portion of the lip. And it's so good, didn't it? It's such a nice, like, creamy formula uh, that it just blends beautifully. Just a tiny drop of this really pretty gloss. This is the final look, and I love it. I think everything turned out really pretty. I think doing full faces of one brand is really fun, so I'm going to continue to do these. I just created a video of my full face of e.l.f. If you guys haven't checked that out, I will link it up in the iCards. But um, yeah, this was really fun. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope that you guys all stay safe and healthy. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.